da 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 Uh, Spy Alley, the game of suspense and intrigue. From Matahari to James Bond, spies and secret agents have filled our imaginations. Now you get a chance to play a spy and counter spy in a dark alley. Spy Alley. Um, deceptively simple and surprisingly intense. Spy Alley keeps you on the edge of your seat. Players become a spy for their given country and try to uncover their opponent's identity while keeping their own identity a secret. Players use deductive reasoning to expose other sp spies while attempting to complete their mission by obtaining code books, disguises, keys, and passwords. It is, it is a traditional board game. You have the cardboard board with the design, with the, with the design of a map of some kind. There's dice, there's tiles, there's cards, there's game pieces that you need to move around. But it also has a lot of problem solving, a lot of deduction, trying to figure out things from clues that other players might accidentally give you. So Spy Alley. I'm ending on a, on a very um, traditional style board game. Think about like Clue... Or all of the other like like detective or detective or mystery board games. Spy Alley is definitely one of those, but it's got a lot of fun personality to it. Spy Alley, I recommend it. But now I want to talk a little bit a little bit more about one of the German board game publishers, Ravensburger. And the reason why I want to talk about Ravensburger is because they make so many of the games that, that I talked about, but also are very, very popular, very like the best selling board games that are out there. And it's just, I mean, I'm, look at these games. There's so many of this. This is just a small sample of the games that Ravensburger makes. That you can buy on Amazon or other uh, sites, you might be able to buy these games on at your at your local game stores. You really probably could. And one of the games that I that I re I'm really excited about is the Disney Villain game, the Disney Villain board game. That looks super cool. It's called Disney Villainous, and, and I, I really want to give that game a try. It, so, it sounds really cool. But if you know me. If you know me, you also know that I love puzzles. And before Ravensburger was a board game publisher, they were a puzzle publisher. They made puzzles. Huh? So if you're really big into puzzles, oh boy, Ravensburger, they have so many puzzles. They have to get, they've got pretty easy puzzles for the children. They've got in a pretty challenging puzzles for um, for for adults who you know want to want to uh, spend a weekend uh, busy, you know because they can't they can't go out, and uh, <laughs> and they also have incredibly busy games, incredibly complicated uh, puzzles. Actually, uh, I meant I meant to say puzzles, not games. And something that I've noticed here is, a lot of these puzzles are sold out, because of course. We're in the middle of a real pandemic, not the game pandemic. We're in the middle of a real pandemic. This is it. This is it. We've got nothing to do at home all day long with our families, and we're going crazy. So what do we do? We got puzzles. Huh? <laughs> and they are sold out of a lot of their puzzles. And they are sold out, out of a lot of their board games, too. So, but, uh, but they are good. They are good. They do really good puzzles. So I recommend them. I recommend them. So that's that. 
German board games and a recommendation for board game publisher Ravensburger. A ton of board games. A lot of role-playing themed board games. Tabletop RPGs. Tabletop RPGs. Very popular in Ravensburger and, and elsewhere. Um, in Europe and Germany, they were a little slow to pick up, but now they are extremely popular. Extremely popular. Yep, definitely. So, that's it. German board games. <laughs>